Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Coolest Chick. Thank you guys so much for interacting and subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate all of you guys. So listen, today we're going to jump right into it. Y'all know about the Taco Bell Crunch Wrap, okay? Well, we're going to put a little spin on it because you know I don't use anything but ground turkey. So we're going to do the turkey crunch wrap. Hold on a second. I'm going to set everything up for you. Well, you know, let's just have a little conversation right now of what all you're going to need uh, for your crunch wrap. You're going to basically need, uh, I'm going to use the ground turkey, probably three pounds of the ground turkey, which you're not going to need that much of it. You're going to need some nacho cheese, some nacho cheese. You're going to need some sour cream. You're going to need some lettuce, tomatoes. You're going to need the burritos uh, package. And you're also going to need you some tortillas, some hard tortilla shells. Now you can either buy those or you can do what I'm going to do, which is fry up my own. Okay. So let's get started here. Hold on. All right, guys. So we're getting this started right here. What well, I have my two skillets going right here. I have some uh, peanut oil, I believe, because I couldn't find my vegetable oil. It's somewhere around here, but I got my peanut oil warming up over there because I need to make me some hard shells. So I have these little shells right here that I'm going to use to make some hard shells. But first, we're gonna get the meat started in the skillet. I probably don't need all of this meat. I'm not gonna use all of it. Let me just use some of it. My hands off. Okay, so, you know what? I have these boys. I keep telling y'all, it's only three pounds. I'm gonna use all of it. I have another meat that I'm gonna use for spaghetti. Um, later uh today or whatever uh, maybe tomorrow i'll cook some spaghetti so we're just gonna do this is some pepper um just a light seasoning um wait one second i'm gonna use some pepper some garlic powder um some onion powder do, 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 do. we're just gonna you know make some taco uh seasoning some taco meat basically is what we're gonna do and so uh that's garlic powder black pepper onion powder i'm probably going to use some total some nature seasoning in this as well i love this nature seasoning oh my god i just absolutely love it i love it love it love it love it love it so we're gonna simmer we're gonna let that cook there um and I think I may cut up, I have an onion here. I'll probably cut up a little bit of an onion to throw off over in there. I love my fresh onions. So, well, raw onions. I like raw onions in my, um, in my tacos. So I'm definitely gonna put some raw onions over in there. But I'm just gonna cut up a couple of onions and throw them over here in this meat so that it can have a nice balanced flavor. Um, you don't have to put that many in there. I'm gonna use a half an onion. I'm just cutting it up over here in the cut over here. You probably, guys can probably hear me cutting the onion up. Uh oh, Blaze, oh my God, today. My little pup, he'll grab anything, including a damn onion. How many of you guys out there got um, pups, uh, cats, animals how many of you guys have that i'm trying to find my little um spoon found it uh, y'all i almost forgot i had this goddamn oil over here burning working so let me go ahead and drop a shell in there while we're <laughs> getting our meat browned So yeah, I was asking how many of you guys have pets out there. I absolutely love my little Blaze. He's been here with me since he was six weeks old. And he is now three. <laughs> what is three years? 21? He's 21 years old, okay? But he's a three-year-old. We love him. He's a great addition to the family. But I can tell you this. I, I you know, I love him but I don't want no more, okay? Because they are a handful and it takes a lot of work to deal with these damn dogs, okay? So, yeah. It's, it's gonna be a wrap once I get rid of, what am I talking about get rid of him? Once, you know, it's gonna be a wrap. 
once it's over for him, basically. So, these shells, we're just gonna get them nice and brown and hard. Ooh like I like my man, okay. So we're gonna get them all browned up there. I got the fire up kinda high. But I really, I'm, you know, we hungry over here. I really kind of wanted to cook. So this is kind of my first time making um, crunch wraps. I've done, I'm not a fan of them. I don't even know why I'm cooking them. I, I know why I'm cooking them. My kids wanted me to um, make them a Taco Bell crunch wrap. So I said, okay. That, my guys, is a little dash of salt that I threw over in there. So we're gonna, I'm going to put my little seasoning back up here. And I'm going to try to find my taco seasoning. I know that I have some. I bought some. And it's probably on this other thing I located it. And I have that. And so, yeah, so, um, yeah, my kids wanted me to make the crunch wrap. So, I mean, what we don't do for our kids. Okay. Lena, I'm doing a video. Thank you. You gotta watch these shells, you know, you just want them to be hard, like the ones you would buy in the store. But we want them to be, um, you know, fresh. So, that's my kid throwing stuff in the uh, sink, just being silly. I'm gonna try to brown this meat up, and yeah. I got those shells going there. I just want to show you guys, you know, the color that the shells should be. Um, they don't have to be. You don't have. You can do them ahead of time. I'm just kind of doing it right now. Oh, and by the way, Sharon, she always likes to ask me what time it is and whatnot or whatever. Today, Sharon, it is Saturday, October the 12th, 2024. It is 4.54 p.m. over here on the West Coast. And I am doing this video. I'll probably load it. Uh, sometime tonight or in the morning um, and I'll let you know what time um, I put the video up. I guess you're in Philly and you like to know the time difference. I'm not, you know, that's cool. <laughs> I love you guys. I love everything about this. I mean, I'm just having a complete ball uh, doing videos for you guys, sharing, you know, my cooking, uh, my recipes and whatnot whatever I mean I have to cook so why not share it with you guys ah, I know there's a lot of different YouTube content out there a lot of different things that you guys can be looking at and you guys choose to look at my videos and I really appreciate it I really do from the bottom of my heart I really really do so we're gonna get these brown they're turning these are the exact color that I want them to turn okay so I'm probably gonna make about four crunch wraps I'm gonna put two more shells over in there um, so that I'll have them ready and then we're just gonna take these out and we're gonna put them on a sheet that has a, a paper towel on there and so that's the way that your little shells should look like. Exactly what they look like when you buy them already burnt up. Well, they, they've already crisped them up for you. And so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat uh, brown and I'm going to, um, you know, fry up the rest of the two shells that I have here. Um, I'm probably gonna have to add in the taco seasoning or whatnot or whatever. But I need to prepare my other things, which is the cheese and the onions and um, the lettuce and, and so on and so forth, what I'm going to use for my crunch wrap. So I'm going to be using some just regular cheddar cheese, but I'm also going to be using some Monterey Jack cheese. So we're going to combine both of these cheese uh, for the cheddar wrap. I'm going to set everything up. I'm going to warm up uh, my nacho sauce that I have here. You don't necessarily have to warm this up. You can actually just pour it over the um, pour it over the wrap um, because 
it's going to warm up when you fry it up in the skillet any damn way, okay? So, you guys don't have to flip your shells as often as I flip them. I just do it that way. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this browned up, and then we'll be right back. Oh, my God, you guys, my video cut out. I don't even know what happened. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Um, I put the, the taco seasoning in, the, in here. I'm going to have to look back at the video to see if that was even captured. But it's some Rotel in here and the taco uh, seasoning that I put in here. I'm going to turn this off, put my top on here, and put it to the side right now. And then I'm going to work on my cheese and assembling the crunch wrap so that we can put it in the skillet. Hold on. All right, guys. So I'm cutting up. The cheese here like I said I'm going to be using some um, uh, Monterey Jack cheese uh, Monterey Jack cheese here and I'm also going to shred up some um, just regular ooh, ooh, let me throw that all in there some regular uh, cheddar mild cheddar cheese well medium mild it doesn't matter which one you get uh, just get it okay just get it to shred do not buy that cheese in the bag I just don't like the cheese in the bag I just rather have it fresh and it takes a second to grate up your cheese and if you buy one of those other new little machines that they have um, I saw it on TikTok or something you buy that little machine and uh, you don't have to do any of this but look it's, it's not taking me long at all to grate up this cheese so yeah, just take your time and look how much cheese you get. Oh my God, so much bang for your buck. Let me put that over in here, in there. And so there it is, all the cheese is ready to go. All right guys, I have everything ready that I'm gonna use in my uh, copycat of the Taco Bell Crunch Supreme Wrap, but we're gonna use ground turkey. So I have my uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. I have my onions and tomatoes, my lettuce, my sour cream, and my um, nacho cheese sauce over there. So, I'm gonna get a burrito shell. And like I said, guys, this is my first time making this, so we're gonna see how this comes out. So, the first one I'm gonna do is for my baby boy. He doesn't like tomatoes, so I won't be adding tomatoes in his. I'm gonna put this here. You guys can see that, yeah. Put that there. Gonna add um, a little meat mixture over in here in the center there. Right in the center here, just like that. Yeah, I really don't know how much you add in there, but it looks like they add like that much in there. And so, uh, then I'm gonna put a shell here and I'm gonna well I'm gonna cover the shell in sour cream as such I guess if you like more sour cream you add more but if you don't oh you know what I miss guys I miss the damn nacho cheese sauce that's what they put down there we're gonna put some cheese sauce down there you guys can see that I hope the video put some cheese sauce down there and then we put that there and then I'm gonna add the lettuce and remember, he doesn't like um, he doesn't like tomatoes. So I'm gonna add some Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna turn my damn skillet on so that it can get warm. <laughs> and it didn't say to add like um, anything to the skillet, like oil or anything like that. So I didn't add any oil to the skillet. So I have the cheese, the lettuce. A tomato. Oh, and then you have to add like one little baby shell on top of that, which I don't know why you have to add a baby shell on top of that, but that's what it says. Add this little shell on there and then you kind of fold it some type of way. And I'm not a good folder, but we gonna, we gonna see how this works together. And it looks like it came out great. Look at that. It came out just like that. All right, hold on. Okay, so I put it over in this skillet here uh, with no oil or anything. I'm gonna let that brown 
um, for a couple of minutes and then we're going to flip it over. Alright guys, so I just flipped the shell over. You know, this is already cooked. Oh, and it's seared pretty well. It sealed that up really, really good. So, it looks like it's going to be a hit, guys. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe it. I love cooking new things. I've never cooked the Crunch Wrap Supreme before in my life, but here we are together doing it. So, we're going to see how it comes out. I'm just going to brown um, the other side. And then I'm going to snatch it out of here and we're going to cut it open together and see exactly what it looks like. Hopefully it's cheesy and gooey and it looks fantastic. So this one, like I said, I'm doing for my baby boy. He doesn't like tomatoes in it. So the next go around, I'm going to make one for myself, which is going to include the tomatoes. So I, I love tomatoes. Oh, damn. I think I forgot to put onions in his and he loves onions oh well <laughs> i'll put them on the side for him you guys hold on all right y'all that my baby boy's one you know it came out looking okay i had burnt it a little bit so i'm doing mine which has the lettuce and tomatoes and onions uh we're going to put some cheese on here like that and then we're gonna add that little baby shell on top of there, which I don't know why, they just say add the baby shell, so we're gonna add it on there. And then we're going to fold this over, which I can't believe that I actually folded it properly the first time, okay? And so here it is. This one is kind of thick and big. I'm gonna go over here and sew it set it over in my skillet. I'll bring you guys over here in a second. So I want to make sure that it's closed. And this one is very big. Oh my God. But once we get it down in the skillet, it should sear. So on that side, I'm going to bring you guys over here. There it is there. So be mindful of how long you leave this in this skillet. Um because it could get burnt, okay? This time I added a little oil into my pot um, just to, you know, get it moving a little bit better. You can probably actually put a top on this so that it can, you know, kind of melt in the middle as well. Um, just get a, you know, top and throw it over it like that. That way you can get a good little heat going on in there so we'll be back all right guys i got it charred on that side you know this damn thing takes a little while to get it browned it, when you be looking at them doing it it seems like it don't take that long but baby let me tell you it's taking a minute to get this browned up all right guys there it is coming fresh out of the skillet we're going to cut it, cut it, cut it, and see what it looks like in the inside, okay? Be careful because it's super hot and it's super crunchy, okay? So, I'm gonna let you guys see. Ooh, there it is there. Oh my God, it looks absolutely incredible. Stand it up there. There's the inside of the crunch wrap there homemade turkey all good ingredients for you there's one side and here is the other side taco bell copycat crunch wrap supreme we have there so guys listen thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching the crunch wrap with uh ground turkey instead of ground beef let's try it Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And the rotel I used with a little hint, it was hot. It really made a really gave it a nice little flavor there. Anyway, thank you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my little crunch wrap.
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, you know, subscribed here. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.